In this video, I will discuss how to verify the conjecture about the points in the region that satisfy a linear inequality. We look at self-practice 6.1b, question number 1. Draw the straight line y equal to 2 over 3 s minus 2 for s greater or equal to 0 s less than or equal to 3. Plot the point 3, 1, 2, negative 2, 1. 5, negative 1, 3, negative 2, and 1, negative 1. Determine whether the points plotted satisfy y equal to 2 over 3 s minus 2, y greater than 2 over 3 s minus 2, or y less than 2 over 3s minus 2. So before you determine whether the point plotted satisfy uh, y equal to 2 over 3s minus 2, y greater than 2 over 3s minus 2, or y less than 2 over 3s minus 2, you must draw a straight line. So how to draw a straight line? y equal to 2 over 3s minus 2. First, you must draw a table. Okay, you can draw the table like this. We have value of s, 0, 3. Why I put 0, 3? Because based on the inequality here, s greater or equal to 0, s less or equal to 3. So means the minimum value for s is 0 and maximum is 3. So I can write 0. Actually, I can put 1 or 2 here also. But for me, 0 is easier for me to find the value of y. Because when I substitute s equal to 0 into the equation, I can get the value of y equal to negative 2 without calculation. And... Why I choose 3? Because based on the equation here, here we have fraction 2 over 3s. So if I put substitute s equal to 3 here, I can get the uh, number without decimal. Now I start with when s equal to 0. So I write the equation of the straight line first. Okay, so equation of the straight line is here. So I just take this one and I write down here. And I put the bracket here because I need to substitute the value of s equal to 0 into here. Okay, so y equal to 2 over 3 times 0 minus 2. y equal to negative 2. 2. After I get the value when s equal to 0, y equal to negative 2, I fill in to the table. Okay, next is s equal to 3. When s equal to 3, again, I use the same linear equation here. I substitute s equal to 3 into here. So 2 over 3 times 3 minus 2 y equal to 0. So I fill in here, y equal to 0. So can you see the co first coordinate is 0, negative 2. Because value of s equal to 0, value of y equal to negative 2. The second coordinate is s equal to 3, y equal to 0. Before I draw the graph, I need to know the number that I plot on the s-axis and y-axis. For the s-axis, very clear already, is from 0 to 3. For y-axis, I refer to the point here. We have 1, negative 2, negative 1, negative 2, and negative 1. So, coordinate of y here is uh, minimum is negative 2, 
maximum is one. Okay, so now I start to draw the S axis and Y axis. For the X axis, I have zero to three. And for the Y axis, I have one, two, negative one, negative two, actually until one only, but I just uh, plot more than that. Okay, now I plot two points here, zero, negative two. And another point, three, zero. After we have these two points, we draw a straight line pass through these two points. Okay, now we can determine uh, all the points, whether the point plotted satisfy y equal to 2 over 3s minus 2 or y greater than 2 over 3s minus 2 or y less than 2 over 3s minus 2. So I, now I plot the point 3, 1. So this is the point 3, this is the point 3, 1. Straight line is y equal to 2 over 3 s minus 2. Okay. The point is above at the area above the straight line y equal to 2s minus 2. So it means that the point 3, 1 is satisfies the inequality y greater than 2 over 3s minus 2. Look at the second point here. 2 negative 2. So I plot the point 2 negative 2. So this is the point 2 negative 2. So for the point 2 negative 2, we refer to the straight line here is at the area below the straight line y equal to 2 over 3s minus 2. So that's why the conclusion is point 2 negative 2 is satisfies the inequality y less than 2 over 3s minus 2. So, okay, now we look at the third point, 1.5 and negative 1. Okay, so this is the coordinate, one s equal to 1.5, y equal to negative 1. So for this point, you can see it's on the straight line y equal to 2 over 3 s minus 2. So conclusion is point 1.5, negative 1, is satisfies the equation y equal to 2 over 3 s minus 2. Okay, now we go to the next point, 3, negative 2. Okay, s equal to 3, y equal to negative 2, this point, 3, negative 2. Okay, so again, the point is at the area below the straight line, y equal to 2 over 3s minus 2. So, conclusion is point 3, negative 2 is satisfy the inequality y less than 2 over 3 s minus 2 okay so the point 1 negative 1 okay s equal to 1 y equal to negative 1 so it's here this is the point 1 negative 1 okay the point 1 negative 1 is at the area above the straight line y equal to 2 over 3 s minus 2. So conclusion is point 1 negative 1 is satisfies the inequality y greater than 2 over 3 s minus 2. 
from the diagram, we have two points at the area above the line y equal to 2 over 3 s minus 2. So these two points, 3, 1, and 1, negative 1, satisfy the inequality y greater than 2 over 3 s minus 2. And we have one point on the straight line here. So point 1, point 5, negative 1, is satisfies the equation y equal to 2 over 3 s minus 2 and we also have two points at the at the area under the straight line y equal to 2 over 3 s minus 2 so these two points 2 negative 2 and 3 negative 2 satisfy the inequality y less than 2 over 3s minus 2. If you like my video, please feel free to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.